where you work, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been here for a few months now. What do you work at? Well, you know, I'm, I, I'm a therapist. Therapist? Yeah, you know. What do you... Well, you know, uh, people can come and uh, talk to me. Shining City is a play about a man who visits a psychiatrist because he's been visited recently by the ghost of his dead wife. It's a ghost story with uh, some humor. It takes place in this, in Ian's office. Uh, he's a psychiatrist. And for all the characters in the play, uh, it represents a place of refuge for them in the city of Dublin. And they're all at a crossroads in their life where they don't really know how to move forward and they're grappling with their past at the same time. I'm recently bereaved. I don't know if Dr. Casey told you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. My wife passed away a, a few months ago and, um, and she, <clears throat> she died in horrible circumstances, We, really, you know. Okay. Well, I play John. His uh, wife has passed away recently and um, he has lately been visited by her. There's been a uh, ghost in his house. The scenes that I'm in are, uh, it's a therapy session. In, in a more traditional scene, uh, the other actor is, is hitting the ball at you all the time and you can, but this I have great stretches where uh, nothing comes back. At least no words come back. He looks at me, I'll give him that. But uh, like many psychiatrists or psychotherapists or whatever he is, they, they just kind of let you hang yourself, you know? Are you fucking joking me? No, I'm... No! No, 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 no. Look, I know, but look... No, no, no! You come home now! Nessa, I... I'm just not gonna do that. I play the role of Nessa, and Nessa is the girlfriend of Ian. And uh, we meet her when she's quite angry because she's been abandoned for four days. And like most Irish women, she throws herself under the bus and she blames herself. That's an all too real and all too tragic um, circumstance. I didn't know you were gonna leave me on my own for a whole week. And I didn't even know where you were. It wasn't a week, it was a couple of days, it's Jesus. Not a couple of days when you're on your own with a baby. It's completely fucking exhausting not knowing where you are. And I can't fucking do it. Shining City, for me, has many themes, and I think it's also it's a great study on how people who are guilt-ridden can manage to haunt themselves, and the internal kind of struggle that we have. It's really about loneliness. It's also an exploration into guilt. And the wonderful thing about Macpherson's dialogue and the music of his work is the inability to understand yourself. I always relish an opportunity to work on Connor McPherson's plays. They always speak to me because they go directly to the heart, to the soul. It's wonderful to be here with such a, with such a cast. I, I think it's a particularly sensitive, dedicated, truth-telling, uh, strong Irish cast. It's such a privilege to be on this stage, the opening of the Irish Rep, which, you know, for years in Ireland, I heard about the impact of the Irish Rep in New York. And you can only kind of dream about standing on this stage and to be part of a collaborative that opens um, its new home is such an extraordinary privilege and something I'll cherish forever. I love the Irish rep. I've come here a lot. I probably prefer being on watching, but not now I'm doing something here. It's thrilling to be the, in the first uh, production in the new space. Well, if you've ever seen a dead body, you know how strange it is, but, but it's real, that, that, that feeling. And what happened then? Well, I don't know how long we stood there looking at each other. It might have just been for a few seconds. This play, particularly, is a play that's about just disparate people trying to find a home, which is kind of wonderful for us because we've been homeless for the past several years, and now we finally come home. This is a play about those people searching for that moment.